You know, sometimes I wonder if we'd have been better off without electricity. Not all the time, just... I, actually, I can't, I can't remember a single time I ever thought that. That's a dumb thing to think. But at some point, during the water slide of sewage that is I Spy Challenger, I just thought to myself, you, you know, the, the pirates didn't have electricity, and they had treasure, and rum, and wenches. So, I mean, even on the bad days, even when the scurvy was flaring up, they were having way more fun than I was with I Spy Challenger. The game's horrible. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> So apparently scurvy was a bitch, but I can't imagine this is any worse. Spongy gums, loose teeth, bulging eyes. I had uh, two of the three playing I Spy Challenger and all that without the good parts of scurvy, i.e. the rum and the wenches. And believe me, it would take more rum than even a pirate would consume to make this anywhere near tolerable. See, uh, see, that's the thing. Pirates were responsible people. Most of them had boat insurance. That's what they don't tell you in the museums. I wish I had I Spy Challenger insurance. That would have prevented me from dealing with the hardships of I Spy Challenger on my own. This is a... Actually, I don't know what to call it. It's a, it's a minigame collection, in a way. But 4 hardly makes a collection. I guess it could be an educational game. But is this really educational? I mean, this is... Actually, I don't know what this is. But here's the thing. I did learn something. I Spy Challenger taught me something very valuable. It taught me that in a world with scurvy, there are worse things than scurvy. So this game was released in 2002 by Scholastic, a company known for books, much in the same way Michael Jordan was known for basketball, but also tried baseball. I Spy Challenger is the video game version of Michael Jordan's baseball career, only without the high expectations and subsequent disappointment. With this, you just get the strikeouts. It's a collection of four mini-games, each of which last about as long as Michael Jordan's baseball career, and each of which strike out every single time they're at the plate. So, which one do you want to start with? What's that, hoop drop? Oh, okay, there are hoops and you have to drop stuff in them. Hey, what about match attack? Well, you have to attack the objects with the right matches. Oh, but what about grid grab? Oh, well, this is where it gets a little more complicated because you have this grid and you have to... Gr oh, wait, th there's no grabbing. You're matching again. That can't be right. See, it's almost like this whole thing is wrong on multiple levels. So basically, these games are all based on matches. They're all- they're just all matching games, just with different variations. Maybe you're matching based on color. Maybe you're matching toys with toys, or animals with animals. Or toy animals with toy animals. I mean, it can get clever with that, actually, with the types of matches it wants you to make. But the games are not clever. In fact, they're just- they're fucking awful. Just the awful, awful game design. And actually, I think the riddles are the worst. So you get these riddles of things you have to match. Only they're not even riddles, they're just lists. I mean, that's not- that's not how riddles work. That's not how anything works. Except lists! You could play each of these four games for like, hours on end. Actually, you could never do that. The human brain couldn't withstand that. Point is, these games stay pretty much the same from start to finish. They don't change at all. Or maybe the types of matches change, maybe the grid gets bigger, but that's about it. This is, this is like repetition, the video game. And the problem with that is, the games aren't any good in the first place. So it's just the same lousy game being repeated round after round until your headache gets to the point where you just you can't ignore it anymore. And you go lie down, head throbbing, an entire day wasted, Oh, but you learned about- but you learned about matching. Blue goes with blue. If I were in this game, I'd be in that hoop. Look, I get that this is a game for kids, but, I mean, I don't think a, a game should have lower standards just because it's for kids. I mean, bad graphics are bad graphics. Kids game or not. Oh, and the music! Oh, holy crap! If you can even call it that. And I'm not sure we can. I'd have to check the Geneva Convention. Look, I mean, if you want to teach your kids, try talking to them. Hell, let them talk to a stranger! That's better parenting than giving them I Spy Challenger. This is like chocolate for dinner. That's why I have to thank Alex from Wildwood, Missouri for sending this god-awful thing in. His doing so has taught us all a valuable lesson about... Oh, who the hell knows? This sucks!